Perhaps the next best spy tool is your iPhone. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Members of the hacker activist movement Antisec claim they accessed an FBI agent's laptop and found the unique user identification numbers for 12 million Apple mobile devices. And the group posted 1 million of these ID numbers online. This was done to bring awareness to how much info these Apple ID numbers can share, and it calls into question what the data could be used for. Now, these IDs are not your Apple user email and password that you use to log in. Rather, they are serial numbers unique for each Apple device that can track users. Although it wasn't shared online, the hacker group says the files also had details about the address and cell phone number of the owners. There's been no word yet on how or why the FBI would have these numbers or even if they were used for anything. Apple has been criticized in the past for giving app makers access to these unique serial numbers, and Apple has previously said it will restrict how much of this ID data it shares with developers. You've seen self-checkout kiosks before, but there's research being done by Walmart and other retail stores to take self-checkout to a new level and have you scan barcodes using your smartphone's camera. You would scan an item as you put it in the cart, and then you take your phone to pay at a small counter. It's just in a really early test right now, but it's another step by stores to get you using your device to shop and to make checkout stations cheaper. It is official. Apple will make an announcement about its next device on September 12th. Apple sent out media invites for a press conference in San Francisco, and there's a mysterious shadow of the number 5 on the image. Seems like we're getting an iPhone 5. The Angry Birds better watch out because something pig is coming. A new version of the game called The Bad Piggies has the pigs tormenting the birds, but there's no slingshot. It comes out September 27th for Apple and Android devices. Windows 8 coming soon after. Looking ahead this week, Nokia and Motorola will be announcing new smartphones. Motorola looks like it will show off a new Droid Razor with 4G LTE on Verizon. Bloomberg reports it will have an edge-to-edge -edge display. Some images for Nokia's new Lumia Windows Phone 8 models have been leaked, showing it has wireless charging. That's your Tech News Roundup for today. Find more details on these stories at our blog, CNET.com update. And if you obsess over cars or like learning more about the tech under the hood, be sure to check out Brian Cooley's new show, CNET on Cars. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.